Hello everybody, it's the 6th of October 2015, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. Now these grapes are ready, these are variety Muscat Blot. You can see if I go a little bit closer that uh, things are starting to eat them now. Starting to rot a little bit some of them, so I'm going to pick these. So I'm probably going to juice them, so uh, let's pick them and see how many we've got. Okay, so there's my harvest of Muscat Blot grapes. Certainly a decent amount. Now, um, over here, I have some Lake Mont Seedless. <clears throat> as I've stated before, I like to refer to this as my monster vine. Now, um, most of these, or some of these are ready, some are not. The ones with like the yellowy tinge to them, like these, don't know if the camera's picking this up, are ready. The ones that are greenish are not. So what I'm probably going to do is just... Uh, taste test a few bunches pick the ones <coughs> that are ready here we go this is what this is the sort of one that will be ready so if you look at that that's a nice yellowy tinge to it and that's when you get the uh, the honey taste that uh, Lake Mont Seedless will provide so I'll show you here the two on the left are ready. You can see they've got that yellowy tinge to the uh, the colour of them, and the ones on the right are still very clearly green. So you want to pick them if you want them sweet and honey-like anyway. When they are when they've got that nice yellow tinge to them. Well, that's some of the uh, Lake Mont seedless anyway. There's plenty more where they came from though. So, so far today, that's the uh, little grape harvest we've got. So, as you can see, there's still many, many grapes left. These will hopefully all ripen at a later date. I mean, for me, they're edible. But depends if you if you know you like your grapes sweet, then you need to leave these a little bit longer. Now this is another thing that can happen, okay? Obviously the vines, the actual grapes on the vines can get very heavy, and if you don't tie it properly or support it you can end up with a collapsed grapevine which is what we have here but that doesn't bother me because I'm going to be pruning this very heavily at the end of the year anyway and probably taking lots of cuttings from it so I mean the, grape, the grapes extend all the way up to here okay so well, what I've done is just uh, cut off some of the leaves around this main part of the vine to encourage these remaining grapes to ripen. I mean, we're not going to be getting much more sun this time of year, but uh, you never know. So the sun can now hit these grapes and hopefully increase the sugar content, thus uh, ripening them. You may wonder what this is. This is a thing we put here to uh, stop squirrels eating these grapes. Frog. There he is. He's come here. There, yeah, under there, look. Okay, so the final uh, lot. These small fruity ones, I don't know what variety these are, but they're, they're quite sweet. And we've got some, there's my Lake Monts, and there's my Muscat Blanc, and there's still plenty more to come. So, I'm going to do some juicing, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, any questions on this? Speak soon.